breath, why not? <clears throat> and feel a thread from your heart going down your body, down your legs, into the floor. Imagine it going down further still into the earth, into the warm, damp earth, going down deeper past all the crystals, past the bones of the ancestors, past all the burrowing animals, going through the fossils, through all the strata of rock, taking that thread down and down through the liquid fire of the magma, right down to the core of the earth, where the heart of Keridwen beats, and connecting your thread with her heart, wrapping that thread around her heart as she welcomes you in and she sends her love, her beautiful deep love back up that thread, up through all the layers, through the fire, through the rock, through all the earth, back all the way up to your heart. Feel her love filling your heart, filling and filling and filling your heart. And another thread comes from your heart up your body, past your throat, past your crown chakra, going up, out through your roof, out into the atmosphere, past the clouds and out into the inky blackness of space, going up and up, traveling faster and faster until it reaches your mother star, the star that shines just for you and wrapping your thread around that star, the star mother Keridwen, as she brings that starry love to you, gifting you that love coming down, coming down through space, down through the atmosphere, down through the roof and down your body, back to your heart filling your heart with her starry, starry love, feeling that earthy love and that starry love going together in your heart, filling all that space in your heart, every atom of your being suffused with her beautiful, beautiful love. Blessed be. Blessed be. Now we're going to call Keridwen in in the four directions. In your mind's eye, please turn with me to the south. Vessel Keridwen of Dura, Keridwen of Water, Keridwen of the South, our sweet mother who flows alongside us when we bathe in river, sea and ocean. As we approach the summer solstice at this dark moon, thank you for your blessed rain that falls upon us and the taste of your sweet waters on our lips. Our emotions flow as the waters of the stream. Help us, Keridwen, to keep both the stream and our emotions clear and pure. We breathe you in. And take your energy back to the centre. Hail and Hail welcome. Hail and welcome. Heridwen of water. water. Blessed be. Blessed be. In your mind's eye, please turn with me to the west. Keridwen of earth, through this time when the heavens are in disarray, 
when our hearts and souls are in disarray. You stand strong and steadfast, as you have for a thousand years and will for a thousand more. In these times where we weather great storms, lend us your strength and your endurance, so that no matter what life throws at us, we will stand strong and proud together. We breathe you in. <sighs> and we bring your energy into the center. Hail mm -hmm. and welcome, Keridwin of Earth. Hail and welcome, Keridwin of Earth. Blessed be. Blessed be. And turn with me now to the north and that of air, as we call him Keridwin. Chrysler Keridwin, I call to you, Dark Divine Mother, and ask on this ritual this evening that you give guidance and your ever lasting love, ever reaching and ever evolving for all. Guide us through this time of confusion and unsettledness. Let us all be united again as one, as your heart is. Deep within, I know, I feel my brothers and sisters, those of the human and the animal kind. I feel the breath that they give out and are giving to the world with their love also from you. And as I feel these things coming from you, that you are putting out to the earth for the people to see and feel, I ask also that people become more aware. We breathe your energy in, Keridwin. <sighs> And let the air be infused with your magical energy. Hail and welcome, Keridwin of the North. Hail, Hail and welcome, welcome. Keridwin, Keridwin of the North. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. In your mind's eye, turn with me to the east. Croiso, Keridwin. Eridwin of fire. At this time when the sun is almost at its peak, empower our ritual tonight that we may send out healing to those who need it most. Eridwin of fire, we breathe your energy in. <sighs> Hail and welcome, Keridwin of Fire. Hail, Hail and, and welcome, Keridwin of Fire. And we bring that energy back to our centre. Groiso, Keridwin of the centre. Please turn with me, sorry, in your mind's eye, please turn with me to the centre. Groiso, Keridwin of the centre. As we come together like the mighty oak, we are strong in our connectedness as sisters and brothers of our Dark Mother. We bring together all the elements to the beating heart of all of us, standing together to transform and raise consciousness as we journey to our deepest selves. We breathe you in. <sighs> Hail and welcome, Keridwin, Mother of Magic and Mystery. Hail, Hail and welcome, Keridwin, 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 Mother of Magic and Mystery. Blessed be. Bless you. Bless you. So, Keridwen is the goddess of inspiration. She is the goddess of every thought and every feeling that we have. And tonight, I would like to introduce two beautiful students on our course who have been inspired to speak their truth in form of poetry. And I would like you to receive the gift of their inspiration with love in your heart. Blessed be. Blessed. I'd like to share with you the words of John O'Donoghue in his blessing in praise of water. 
Let us bless the grace of water, the imagination of the primeval ocean where the first forms of life stirred and emerged to dress the vacant earth with warm quilts of colour. The well whose liquid root worked through the long night of clay, trusting ahead of itself openings that would yet yield to its yearning, until at last it arises in the desire of light, to discover the pure quiver of itself, flowing crystal clear and free through delighted emptiness. The courage of a river to continue belief in the slow fall of ground, always falling further towards the unseen ocean. The river does what words would love, keeping its appearance by insisting on disappearance. It's only life surrendered to the event of pilgrimage, carrying the origin to the end, seldom pushing or straining keeping itself to itself, everywhere, all along its flow, at one with its sinuous mind, an utter rhythm, never awkward. It continues to swirl through all unlikeness with elegance. A ceaseless traverse of presence, soothing on each side the stilled fields, sounding out its journey, rising up a buried music where the silence of time becomes almost audible. Tides stirred by the eros of the moon draw from that permanent restlessness perfect waves that languidly rise and pleat in gradual forms of aquamarine to offer every last tear of delight at the altar of stillness in land. And the rain in the night, driven by the loneliness of the wind to perforate the darkness, as though some air pocket might open to release the perfume of the lost day and salvage some memory from its forsaken turbulence and drop its weight of longing into the earth and anchor. Let us bless the humility of water, always willing to take the shape of whatever otherness holds it. The buoyancy of water, stronger than the deadening downward drag of gravity. The innocence of water, flowing forth without thought of what awaits it. The refreshment of water, dissolving the crystals of thirst. Water, voice of grief, cry of love in the flowing tear. Water vehicle and idiom of all the inner voyaging that keeps us alive. Blessed be water, our first mother. Blessed be. Blessed, Blessed be. be. I'd like to read for you a poem which I've written called Willow. Gallows wood, coffin weaver, the fearful whisper behind their furtive hands. They quake to hear you cracking, creaking, snapping your jaws to catch them fast in a weeping without end. Yet, tree of the poets, your wood births harps. Divining rods from your branches guide the true seeker. As your tenacious roots quest to discover hidden water. Your gift of charcoal draws my daughter's visions. Her hand moves across the paper as your fronds caress the stream. The weaver makes baskets for apples and cradles for babes. Perfectly balanced, you stand between two best beloveds, patient water gently lapping you, delivering the kisses of your lunar lover on rippling reflections Watchful willow, you wait between the worlds, holding the key to unlock the unseen. Did you learn your healing arts from the whispering of elves? Or did you once hold a place in the court of Anuvan? I bring you my secret sorrows, hidden joys. You bend your back, leaning down to catch the confidences, rocking me in your leafy embrace, 
You sing of highs and lows, of ebbs and flows, of endless new beginnings. Blessed be. Blessed be. Thank you so much for your gifts of inspiration. I'm very, very grateful. And I'm sure everybody else who's uh, here tonight is too. I'm going to uh, ask you to uh, now please gift us your energy and sing with us. Um, I'm going to be singing and I hope you will sing with me um, at home. And I'm going to just uh, share my screen if it works. Bear with me for two seconds. It was working earlier. It's always the same, isn't it? I love the technology. Bear with me. Yeah, it's just there, definitely there, right? Try again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it without. What a shame. Ah, I know what is wrong here. There we are. Um, okay. Doesn't seem to be working. What a shame. I keep trying. So the first song that I'm going to sing is definitely a song that you will know, and it's called The River is Flowing. And perhaps if you are all ready, you could help me out. If you... Um, I'm just going to try one more time to find, uh, I had the words here and it's not coming up, unfortunately. So perhaps you, um, you can try and sing with me if you know the words. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing down to the sea. Mother, technology to work um, but the whole idea of us singing in the Caridwen uh, uh, rituals is because we give breath and uh, that is air and water because your breath is moistened by the air in your body we give those as gifts and the more we sing the more we raise energy now I know that this weekend is going to be a challenge not just have we got the dark moon we also have the summer solstice, the return into the dark half of the year, regardless of how we feel about it. And we haven't really had a light half of year, to be quite honest. And of course, then there is also the solar eclipse. And all of these things are impacting on a lot of people's moods. And what we're trying to do with the singing is to raise your mood. And singing together is a really healing, wonderful thing to do. And of course, if you are singing together, you can't shout at each other. That's at least what I think. So the next one, I'm uh, going to see if I can still not do this. The next one is one of Sally Pullinger's. Sally Pullinger is one of our most uh, gifted and respected elders. She is the one that uh, does all the songs for the conferences. And I don't think you know this one, and I had it on, the, on a wonderful um, slide for you with everything. But as always, you know, how is it? This technology doesn't work. Never mind. I will sing it for you, and I hope you enjoy it. We thank you for bringing the waters of your land. 
We welcome you here to the Isle of Avalon. We bless the waters you bring from your well, lake and spring. May these waters create a sweet medicine of love. We thank you for coming to the Isle of Avalon. We've loved you and blessed you, and now you journey on. May the priestess you walk in the garden near and far. We will always be there in your medicine of love. So that is me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And what I would like you to do, if you could, later on, sing the Arwen with me and send the inspiration of beauty and power of the goddess into the world. But for now, I'm going to hand over to my colleague, who is next. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Well, hello, everybody. Tonight, I want to take you all on a journey. A guided journey. So let's start by getting comfortable. Get your feet on the floor. And we're going to start by breathing in three deep breaths. So breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And if you'd like to close your eyes, we will start. I would like you to visualize a stairway in front of you. A stairway leading down with a nice handrail so you feel secure and i'm going to ask you to start coming down the staircase with me step one step two step three you're feeling relaxed Step four, step five, step six, you're starting to feel your energy points start to buzz. Step seven, step eight, step nine, you're feeling relaxed and aligned. You reach the bottom of the staircase and in front of you there is an archway leading on to a river bank, which you walk through. The day is fine, the water is bubbling in the stream, and you're following a path that appears to be leading to a very large willow tree. The air is full of birdsong. There is the chirp of crickets. And when you get to the large willow tree, you see it has a door. And you feel compelled to open it with the handle. It opens easily and you find yourself in a room with eight other doors. With the most exquisite carving. And looking around, you realise that each door has a representation of one of the eight festivals. So you walk into the room, admire the carvings, and select the water door, the summer solstice, open it, and walk through to find yourself on a beach beautiful sandy beach with the waves lapping gently on the shore. 
and you stand and you watch the sea and just bask in the sound, being relaxed by its motion and enjoying the day. You suddenly realize that there is a figure behind you. You turn to see a magnificent woman who you realize is Keradwin. And she is just behind you. She puts a hand gently on your shoulder and asks you to tell her your fears and your stresses. After a moment of blankness, the words tumble out of your mouth. She takes your hand and says that she has something to show you. And together, hand in hand, you walk back across the beach to a cave. When you reach the in entrance, with a wave of a hand, she says to you, I have brought you to the Universal Moon Pool. This is the place where the past, the present and the future meet. Where emotions are born and emotions are gently washed away. She takes you over to it and asks you to look into it. Instead of a cave ceiling, you see the universe, the Milky Way, and the thinnest sliver of the old moon. She asks you to beam love into it for the inhabitants of the world, for everything that lives on the land, the sea, and in the sky, for the birds, the bees, the fish, and everything else, including your fellow people. You find your heart becomes large with love and it is easy in her company to beam that love into the pool. And you see the stars swirl and grow brighter. She then waves her hand over the pool and it ripples like a small pebble has been dropped into it. And she tells you that there are people that want to see you. They are your far distant ancestors. She explains that you are from a lineage of survivors. If it wasn't, you would never be here now. And although there is always good and bad in every family, the majority of your ancestors are good. And many of them are proud of the idea their lineage stretches so far into the future for them. And they wish to greet you. Again, you focus on the pool. And this time faces a crowd of people start to look up at you. And you notice similarities about some of those faces. You notice the best things in the people you love. 
after a bit of jostling, they step forward with pride and with love. And you can feel their emotion and their pride in you and how much they love you, which helps your heart to swell even further. One by one, they step forward and then fade away and another takes their place. Men and women, people of great age and youngsters, different professions that you can tell from their clothing. Finally, they start to dim. And you look up and see she's smiling at you. And she says, See, many people are proud of you. Many people love you, just like I do. But now it's time for you to go. But before you do, beam one last burst of love into that pool as a thank you for the gift of seeing those ancestors that love you so much. And you gladly comply. She then holds out her hand again, which you take, and together you leave the cave. And with the companionship of someone that you've known for forever, you walk slowly back along the beach with her in silence, just trying to digest and remember those faces and the way they made you feel and how good it is to know that people are proud of you. All too quickly, you reach the door and she says goodbye to you reminds you you can come any time. That even if she isn't there in person, she's all around you when you come here. And you now know how to use the pool. So if you need some confidence or to know that you are loved, you are welcome to use it. You say goodbye to her, thank you for her gifts. And walk back into the room. You look around the room at the other doors and wonder what gifts they will offer. But you know that another time, in fact, plenty of times you can come back and explore them. The door that you need to leave by is open and you go through it. You're back on the riverbank in the cool of the branches of the willow. You slowly make your way to the arch that is just there 
in the middle of the path. The minute you go through it, you see the staircase and you start to climb. Nine, eight, seven, starting to leave the place you've been behind. Six, five, four, starting to come back into your body. Three, two, one, you're back in the room you started from. I now invite you to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and take a moment before you open your eyes. I hope you've enjoyed your journey. Blessed be. Blessed be. On my altar, I have Catechwin's cauldron. I have some fresh water, which I just collected from the local mountain stream. And while I'm pouring this water into her sacred cauldron, I ask you to close your eyes and take a few breaths in and out and to focus on everything that you're ready to let go of all heavy emotions, everything that no longer serves you, that you want to let go, that you would like to put into her cauldron for healing, for change and for transformation. And I ask Karidwan to bless this water with her healing energy, to put all her power of change, of transformation, and of healing into this sacred cauldron. May it truly be blessed with her energy and with her love. And I have crystals which I collected from her lake all the way in North Bala, North Wales. Crystals of her sacred lake, Kedwen. I offer these crystals to you and I put it in the water. And I ask you all now to send your intention into this cauldron to release everything that you would like to let go, that you want Caridwen to take away from you, to heal, to change and to transform. Put it all in the cauldron, everything that you're ready to let go, go now, that you don't want to take with you into the second half of this year, that you're ready now to release and to give it into her hands, her healing and loving hands. And what I will do now is I have salt here from the Atlantic Ocean. Salt is indeed a very magical property. It is used to cleanse and clean spaces and energies. It is also very protective and it also binds all heavy and negative energies. And I put this salt now into her cauldron that it will mingle with the water and everything that you've put in there now that it will, trans, it will be transformed, it will be cleansed. It will be released. I ask Karijwan 
take everything away from you that no longer serves you, everything that holds you back, everything that is ready to let go of. And then I have some sacred elderflower berries. Elderflower is believed that it can take everything away through the branches of its bushes that are hollow inside. So local people long ago prayed to the elder, to the elder bushes and asked them to take everything away all illnesses, all diseases of the mind, of the body, of the soul, to take it into the earth for cleansing and for healing and for releasing. And I ask the spirit of this elder flower to take everything away into the sacred body of the earth and together with the water to clean it and to cleanse it. Thank you, Kadidwan, for your, for your transformative power, for your cleansing and healing power to purify our emotions, our bodies, our lives, and our soul with your healing spirit. Thank you so much, Kadidwan. I will later, after this dark one ritual, go to the lo local broom, which is close by to the local brook, and put that water into the stream and I will ask Keritwan and the water and the sacred body of the earth mother to take it with it and to release it into the earth for further cleaning, for further cleansing, healing and transformation. So mote it be, blessed be. So mote it be. Hello, please join me in the oath. We swear by peace and love to stand. We swear. Heart, heart to heart, heart hand to in heart hand. And mm -hmm. hand in hand. Mark, O oh goddess, and hear us now. Mark, O oh oh goddess, and hear us, and hear us now. now. As we confirm this our sacred vow. As we, we confirm our sacred, sacred vow. We swear by peace and love to stand. We swear, we swear by, peace by peace and love to stand. stand. Heart to heart. Heart to heart. Hand in hand. Hand, 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 hand in hand. 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 Mark, O oh goddess, and hear us now. Mark, Mark our goddess, goddess and hear us now. now. As we confirm this our sacred vow. As we, As we confirm, confirm this our sacred, sacred vow. vow. We swear by peace and love to stand. We, we swear by, by peace, peace and love and to love stand. stand. Heart to heart. Heart, heart to heart. heart. Hand in hand. Hand, hand, hand in hand. hand. Mark, O oh goddess, and hear us now. Mark, O oh oh goddess, and hear us, us now. 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 As we confirm this our sacred vow. As, As we, we confirm, confirm this our sacred, sacred vow. Blessed be. Blessed, Blessed be. be. Okay, so here we go. It is your turn now. I hope you can be, you're able to unmute yourself. This is going to be a slight cacophony. 
But the important part of this is that you sing with us the Awan, the inspiration of the goddess and the gods of the spirit, of source, of whomever you speak to. The more you, the more you sing out with us, the more the energy, the heavy energy that is in the world right now is cleansed. This is a healing ritual. It is a work. So I'm going to ask you to count your fingers. We're going to sing the Awan nine times. And it is at your leisure of singing these nine times. I'm going to make a start and then you just pile in. And the better and the louder we do it, the better it is for the world. So nine times the Awan. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you don't know, I'm just going to uh, show you one. And then you just pile in, okay? So deep breath in. And it's A U N, not Aven, it's A U N as well. We're a bit tricky. Uh, in the world so thank you so much i bet we blew some of those gray clouds away and the sunshine will come back out tomorrow for sure so um as far as i see here now we are going to thank the goddess in a minute and um then we are going to uncast the circle the priestesses and priests of caridwin wish you a wonderful summer solstice we wish you that the next half of the year is going to be significantly less trial, trying than what we have had so far. But together we can face anything. And so we are always in perfect love and perfect trust with our goddess. And I hope that you enjoyed our ceremony and that you will be coming back next month for some more of what we have to offer. In the meantime, I'd like to ask my beautiful sister Sheila to make a start and say thank you to the goddess. Bless you. Thank you for your warm and loving presence at our room this evening and for all of your ongoing love and support that you bless us with. Farewell and bide well in your temple, Keratwin of the South. Farewell and bye bye. Caridwin of the West, steadfast goddess of Earth, you who stand unchanged by weather, by the elements, 
you who have stood strong and will always stand strong. We thank you for your strength, for your nourishment, for your love today. Farewell, Keridrin of Earth, and bide well in your temple. Farewell, 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 of the North. We thank you for your healing and for your love upon this ritual this evening. We thank you for your presence, for your ever-loving lifting, and for the song and the beautiful gifts that were given in this ritual this evening. We thank you for the inspiration that air brings us. We also thank you for just being and giving your ever divine guidance. Farewell and bind well in your temple, Peregrine of the North and that of air, blessed be. Farewell and bind well in your temple, Farewell in your temple, blessed be. Diok. Keridwen of fire, thank you Keridwen for bringing your warmth to us, for bringing the warmth of friendship and companionship throughout this circle tonight. Thank you for bringing the passion, the energy to send out healing to where it is needed. Farewell and bide well in your temple, Keridwen of fire. Farewell, well, 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 Farewell, Farewell and die well in your temple, when our mother of magic and mystery. Magic and mystery. Blessed be. Blessed be. Right. May the circle be open but never broken. May the love of Goddess go with us this evening. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet merry again. Meet again. again. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Merry part, merry meet again. Well done. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you and blessings on your evening. And we are so grateful for your presence. So, beloveds, have a wonderful evening. Have an amazing dark at moon. And feel mm. into all of the beauty that the world has to offer. Blessed be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Hello, darlings. Hello, Georgia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you.